Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Having caught a biddish tone last week, the Australian dollar remains on the front foot and still focuses on the top side of the range, somewhere around 68.45 as the support area of 66.60.75 is now in the rear view mirror. With the outside range day not far from being negated, does give some concern that the bullish case may actually hold eventually to that 68.45 and reassess, although three attempts at that level was rejected, a fourth one may come through and therefore look back towards the support of 67.45 and reassess from there. Looking at the euro, the market still holds roughly around that 105 area. After a rocky week, another one is likely to unfold as, as investors look again to the rate hike card, which plays a double dose of potential market moves with the November Consumer Price Index. On Tuesday, the market also will be looking to the US Federal Reserve Open Market Committee rate seating, which is on Wednesday. We have around 90% chance that the US Federal Reserve will hike rates 50 base points. That is from to 425 to 450 and after four consecutive 75 base rate hikes the market may actually still look towards that region of hikes of around 50 to 75 but with inflation slowly pulling back if we do see a smaller rate hike then the dollar may actually take a bit of a tumble and therefore look for the euro to take on the challenge of 105 70 90 and look on towards 106 40 50. The dollar yen over the last five consecutive days still holds to a sideways pattern and contained by this short term downtrend, which is seen roughly now around the region of 137.80. In light of the pattern, the market is attempting to restore its bullish bias, so no doubt we could see a further rise that is towards 137 to 138 and reassess from there. The sterling, well, it's Super Thursday with the Bank of England looking to a rate hike of 50 base points this Thursday. It is no doubt it's all about what the statement says, but with a 50 base point rate hike, seeing the move from 3 to 3.5%. Three In light of the pattern, still looking towards that topside challenge, so roughly around the region of 123.40 to 123.95 and reassess. The market for gold for the 1,800 level still seems to be attracting the bulls even though we are seeing a slight pullback today, but after four consecutive tests to that top side, the market may again see that challenge due to the ADX holding to a positive trend and also the RSI holding to a positive outlook, but MACD is mixed. Looking towards that 1,800 figure six may actually find supply, but above there sees 2022, which I feel could be a short-term cap with the support seen at 1,788 and reassess. Finishing up with oil, well, the market took three challenges to that bottom side around 71.30 and it's been respected so far. The indicator is oversold, but the trend is relatively strong to the bear case. So we may see another test to these lows, which is a one year low that is, and therefore may find the market may actually attempt to see if it can take it down to $68 a barrel. There's no doubt there is more stops likely to be lurking in the market. Towards 68, if seen, should take or find bargain hunters return to the market. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intro report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.